Okay, so here's what we start off with. We have our first person shooter here and we can already shoot projectiles. If you don't know how to shoot projectiles, please check out my other tutorial that I made right before this one. I'll link that in the description below. So what we want to do is we want to make those little balls explode. Now, how do we do this? Well, it is quite simple. The only thing you need to do basically is go to bullet or whatever your prefab is that you are shooting. It really doesn't matter. So you want to go to your prefab, click on open prefab. And then in here, you want to add a script to it. So we're going to click on add component and I'm going to call this bullet controller. Click on create and add. And then you should end up with the standard methods that they always create for you. Now you don't need to write any of this code because I set up a site where you can find it. It's, f it's on um, Firemind Academy. And here you can find that article. I'm going to link that article in the description down below. And here we have our bullet controller and we simply copy all of that. I'm going to explain what this code does in a minute. And then in here you just want to paste it. So once we got that, um, let's go through this code really quick. So we basically say that those bullets, if they don't hit anything, they should die after five seconds that we do in the destroy thing here. Um, however, if they do something, and this is the important part, on, the, on a collision, if the colliding uh, object is not the player, we actually want to instantiate a explosion. Now, that explosion will be some another asset that we imported. Which I'm going to get to that in a second. I'm also um, going to add a destroy for the explosion itself. So after, I think, like probably five seconds, I want the explosion to vanish. So I'm going to set that to 5F. And I totally have a spelling mistake in here, so I'm just going to copy that. And now the explosion will vanish after some time. So that's that. And then we go back to our scene. And as you can see, once we save this, And as you can see, the bullet controller is here and it's evading a uh, explosion particle system, aka game object, whatever. And you can also set the time of when the bullet should die before it hits something. So for the explosion, I'm actually going to take a standard asset. So it's all free. You don't need to worry about paying anything. Um, so you can just go to the asset store, download the standard assets and then use a particle system from them. So in the standard assets, which I have down here, we go to particle systems and then prefabs. And in here we have all kinds of, you can pretty much put all of them in there if you want. Uh, but for now, we're going to go with the explosion. So you want to stay on your bullet and then drag in the explosion. And actually, that's it. That is all you need to do. So now whenever I shoot something, there is an explosion, which goes away after five seconds. Yep, you can see like it vanishes after a while. You can also not do that and just keep the explosion kind of thing there, but I would not recommend that. So yeah, you can shoot explosions now. Pretty, pretty sweet, looks pretty good. And uh, you can subs um, substitute this with pretty much anything, any kind of particle system if you want. So yeah, give it a try. It's also gonna like push you back a little bit because it actually has like a rigid body attached to it. So yeah, that's pretty much it already. Pretty sweet, pretty short. If you like this video, please leave me a like. And if you wanna see more videos, please subscribe. Also, if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have ideas for other tutorials or requests, All right, this is Firemind here, and today 
we have a very exciting tutorial. Today we are going to create exploding bullets and this tutorial is actually so easy that it's gonna blow your mind. Get it? Because the bullets are exploding. That's kind of the joke. 